Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. I am joined by my better half, a special guest, my wife, Sarah, because a lot of you guys wanted to ask her questions. I've gotten a pile of questions from her or about her over the years. So I've actually been writing a bunch of them down. So I figured we would do a little bit of a interview and I've got questions I want to ask her as well regarding my fishing career. So thank you for joining us. Yeah. I feel like you're further back than I am, I but that's am. okay. It's a circular couch. So Sarah and I have been uh, married for 15 years. Correct. 15 years. We've known each other since college. She is my number one supporter, Aww. pushes me into the sport. In fact, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her, because after my third year, I don't know, maybe you don't remember this, but after my third year, I was driving home from Lake Eufaula in Alabama with four tournaments in. I had boat issues. I had a terrible tournament, and I was like, I'm done. I was still working a corporate job. Called Sarah up on the way home. She's like, you're not done. You're finishing the year out. Made me finish the year out. I went to the next two tournaments, had top 20s. Uh, uh, top 20 and a top 30 in the last two got me going and here we are today still fishing the rest is history yeah <clears throat> okay so <laughs> i've got questions for her that some are mine some are ones that you guys have put in the comment sections of videos so i figured we would uh i'm just going to do kind of like a rapid fire thing i'm nervous you can <clears throat> feel free to Elongate your answer. Feel free to give a short answer. Okay. But I'm not cutting this. We're not doing anything. Some of these you might not like. Okay. There. <clears throat> okay. All right. First question. Did I ask you to wear a bikini for this? No. Okay, good. You asked me to wear a Would bikini? Would you have? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, maybe if we were on a <clears throat> boat and I'd be on a bikini or in a bikini. So would you, could we do a film episode of you in a bikini? Because those get views. They do. Lots of views. Nobody cares about me at that point. Okay. <laughs> What's it like being married to a pro fisherman? This is a viewer question. I mean, I've known you since we were 19. So I just know you as my husband. And you just happen to be a professional fisherman. Okay. So, you got you to speak up properly. Okay. Got it. Uh, so what you, so you're saying you I've always fished since you've known me. Yes. So, so I, it's, it's just been a organic natural transition from the, Hey, I'm going fishing with Jason down by the dam to, Oh, I'm going to Lake Toho and I'm going to be gone for 12 days. Yeah. I've so, just been used to it. And, and it's awesome. I, I love it. I mean, I love being able to, you know, have you on, you know, on live or watch you fish. Um, I mean, it's thrilling. It's, it's not, we are not conventional by any means. You're married to a professional athlete. I know. I mean, who can say that? I mean, not many people. <laughs> so I fished bef like before I fished at the professional level, I was fishing 20 plus tournaments a year locally. So at that point you're, <laughs> Yeah, but we kind of just went into it. I think a lot of relationships struggle when it's like somebody meets a professional angler, but they don't realize how much they're going to be gone. We've kind of tapered up together. Yeah. And I have really good girlfriends when I'm like, I need time. I need, I need vacation. So you used to use all your vacation on fishing, like literally every single day, but one. And we use that one day for like Christmas with my family or something. So I've seen a lot of the country sport. without you. So, so I, it's a very selfish career to do what I do. I, I, say I that. feel very selfish. You shouldn't. I because do. I say this all the time, Matt, there are benefits and drop effects to you being gone. But I grow and you grow when you challenge yourself, whether it's fishing or starting something new in life. Um, you, there's challenges and the boys and I have challenges when you're gone, but we are better people because of that, because we have to face those challenges and overcome them. And we get I to still, have I someone feel, model. I it. still feel bad that I'm gone. Okay, next yes. question. Okay. Ramble. What's your favorite thing about my career? That I'm gone so much? What? Free sunglasses? 
Shout out to Costa. Uh, uh, and the cool relationships. And you know, like we've met some really awesome people. Like we, I mean, don't, I don't think we've met Matthew Stockton in person, but um, that, okay, good. That's oh yeah, that's right. Um, but I mean, Gussie, Miles, uh, you know, like all the people we've met, the friends we have now um, across the country, like that's yeah. a really cool thing. I mean, if we wanted to go fishing in Miami, we could call Chris and be like, Chris, we're coming down. And he'd be like, okay, cool. Yep. You know, like if we wanted to go spend a weekend somewhere with someone, we could probably find someone that would be it's willing a, to go do it. It's a very tight knit community. Yeah. The fishing community yeah. is great. Yeah. What's your least favorite then? How stinky you are when you come home. That's, that means I had a good day on the water. I mean, Yes, and you also <laughs> travel through the, the night. Okay, <laughs> driving wise. Yeah, well that's, yeah. A lot of times I, I leave a tournament <laughs> after the tournament, packed up, ready to go. I drive for eight hours, sleep for a few hours, and then drive home. So I get home At like smelling, smelling like I was on the water, but I've been driving for 12 hours. Yes. Uh, what do you think? So this is a viewer question. What do you think I need to do better to become a better angler? Ooh, what do you need to do I know to what do you're going to say. No, you tell me your answer. Uh, it's a mental game. I mean, fishing is a mental thing, right? I mean, fishing is stronger, more visualization, more brain training. That's my neuro neurology oh, I thought, stuff I coming thought, through. I feel like I'm much more solid there. Oh wait, you're much, you're very solid there, but health and wellness is where I. Oh am. yeah, no, you should work out more. Yeah, well, might get bump shouldered. <laughs> Do you have a favorite moment of my career? Hmm. Like professional or whatever fishing no. yeah no i know i know i'm i'm trying to think um i think the there's a few that stand out professional or not if, when you called to say that you won the tournament in sturgeon bay with jason and um i was like what no and then you got home and then I realized how dumb you were in that tournament and that you lived and survived. So, I mean, that whole thing, um, yep. winning the tournament and on um, triple flowage, um, anytime you're in lacrosse. It's interesting you're talking local events and not professional events. Well, I, but I don't get to do I haven't had the big win yet. Well, no, and yes, and I don't, That's I'm my... not with you as much. Um, in true. person, like when I'm in lacrosse, those are fun. Like when my brother's there, yeah. my mom and dad are there. Like those are fun. Those are some good memories. What's your least favorite? We just talked about this last night. Kentucky Lake when you blanked. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a bad day. And you were at that one. Yeah. I still don't know how I zeroed in that. That was the best practice I've ever had. Yeah, worst tournament. Who, excluding me? is the sexiest bass fisherman. Hmm. I know Sex this answer. Sexiest. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, are you going to say like Seth Fighter and his No, hair? I don't, I don't see. Brandon Polinick and his jaw. I could see um, Brandon Polinick. Yeah. Well, who are you going to say? Um, Brandon Polinick. I think he's really? cute. Really? Stay away, say? BP. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Justin Lucas. Oh, I do. Think yeah. Just, I do yeah. like Justin Lucas. I know. You I always tell me how nice him. his hair is. No, it's not his hair. He's, it's a jaw. It's good. They got good jaws. Who do you think is the best fisherman? Overall? Yeah. The one that wins. I need an answer. <laughs> you? Can no, I say you? No, you can't say me. Who's the best overall fisherman? I feel like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know this answer because I'm skewed to like, uh, I don't, um, I don't know. Uh, oh. I'm forgetting his name. The, the guy, he just retired. Just retired? Oh, Kevin Van Dane? Yeah, KVD. Okay. Who, uh, being that we're a fishing family, there's a lot of new people getting into the sport. What would your advice be to a, another fishing family? 
Oh. Um, teach your kids how to swim. Get some good life jackets. You don't have to spend a lot on equipment. Have fun. Have someone who's willing to put bait on the hook, unlike me. What about for professional fishing families? Uh, there's a lot of work that goes in. And just because you're fishing at the professional level does not mean you're automatically gonna be good. There's, I don't wanna say a break-in period, but you, you gotta learn, you gotta get good at the next level. If you're really good at like a local level and then you step up to a regional level and you're really good there like you did, then you go to professional level, like there's a, it's not like you're just gonna step in and be like magnificent. Like you've got to, you got to work. You gotta work. Yeah. Yeah. You got to work at it. Okay. So what do I complain about the most in the fishing industry? Uh, you complain about within the fishing, fishing industry. Like, I'm trying to think of our times watching BTL and best uh, and uh, low budget live and like what you always yell at the TV for. Uh, I feel like there's <laughs> politics. There's politics in fishing. I think that's yeah. what you yell about. That's true. That's true. Uh, do you miss me working a nine to five? No. You work more now than you did then. And do you prefer me as a nine to five guy or as a fishing guy? I liked your insurance oh, as yeah. a nine to five guy. Yeah, that was nice. And a, and a bi-weekly paycheck. paycheck. Yeah, yeah, that was nice too. But no, I would not <laughs> trade where we are right now. Where should I fish? Where, if you could choose where I'd be fishing at the next level, would you put me in the BPT or the elites? I don't know the answer to where. I'm you curious. You know my answer. What are the you elites. Say? Okay, the elites. I don't feel like I knew that. Well, well, our friends feel, are on that side. You see, well, that is true. We know a lot of people over there now. That was a very, I didn't, I didn't think you'd be that committed to the elites. Yeah, no, it's... Really? Yeah. What if I make BPT this year? I'll support you no matter what, Matthew. Okay. I shouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> uh, would you recommend to today's youth to pursue a career in professional fishing? Based on seeing everything. I recommend that whomever is watching, whether it's youth or not, you pursue what makes you happy and what lights you up inside, whether that's fishing or marketing or web design, and you also enjoy fishing and you can do that on the side. I think that professional fishing is not as lucrative as people make it out to, people think it is. And I think the only way you're gonna make it in life is if you do what you love. That's a fact. You can make a living out of anything, yeah. selling peanuts, but you gotta be good at it. Yeah, like I would rather make less money but be happy than um, be miserable. You know, like yeah. we were working corporate stuff. Yeah. I mean, like it, we weren't miserable, but I mean, we weren't. But I mean, now I'd say we're happy. <laughs> Last question: <laughs> What uh -huh. do you consider? professional fishing, a true sport, a hobby, or a marketing scheme? What do we consider true bass fishing? Well, I mean, to be considered a professional angler, I think you need to be um, making the vast majority of your income from sponsors and tournament winnings. Um, but I believe there's definitely an aspect of it that is a marketing, like your marketing products. I don't know how to answer that question. I'm sorry. That's all right. That was the last one. Okay. I hope all I right. did okay. So you let me know, guys. Do you want more of these rapid fire questions with Dr. Sarah, our chiropractic support life of the family? Or... Do you want me to come out with another tip video? Let me know. Do you want to see more of Sarah is really what it comes down to. Because I get a lot of a lot of requests for you. I think and this is the first time you're actually really seeing me. Yeah, you've been you've kind of popped up in a few videos. Yeah, like my back while I'm fishing with Dave. But I get I get a, I get a lot of it's kind of weird because sometimes I'm like, hmm, that's a weird request, but 
You're part of the family. Everyone sees Hank and Duke. Nobody sees you. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let us know in the comment section. Let us know if there's questions that you want to ask Sarah. And uh, stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.